guys, you here, right here, yeah, you know, welcome to episode 3 of our GTA 5 Carvey Cast series. We've got Infernus going against the back of the Pegasus, battling it out. This was requested by Phaser Armor and many of you guys in the previous episode. Remember, these episodes take a lot of time to edit during the day, so I'm going to try and space these out within the weeks of uploads, at least once or twice a week instead of one a day for now. So uh, that way I can get some breather. But if you guys do enjoy the series, make sure you leave a like and let's get back into it. Starting off with the drifting with the Infernus. It's an absolutely amazing car. But unfortunately, drifting isn't particularly great. You know, after the first sort of drift, you do completely slow down to second or first gear. So it's uh, you know, that great for consecutive drifting. It's an awesome car to drift and slide or power slide, or whatever you guys want to call it with this car. But when I compare it to the Vaca, the Vaca, in my personal opinion, does dominate the drifting scene for the Pegasus. And this one is absolutely awesome when it comes to these sort of uh, mechanic when it comes to drifting or power sliding, whatever you want to call it. But absolutely comfortable and really really easy to do with this car compared to that so, uh, compared to Inferno sorry but we're gonna Inferno's handling now this ha car is absolutely amazing for handling it's very sturdy and it's firm fits firmly onto the ground so when it comes to high speed turns and very sharp corners you can you know you can do that compared to this car because this car you know the Vaca he completely slows down and sort of spins out if you are going at very high speed to sharp corners and you lose a lot of speed from this car compared to the Inferno so Inferno takes the point for that Currently square, but we've got a sort of shotgun durability test. See how many bullets this takes. Uh, people did say that it depends on the distance as well, so I tried my absolute best to get the perfect distance when shooting the engine at the back. So the furnace took 12 shots. Let's see how many shots it will take the Vaca to explode. This should be pretty close. Turned out the that I think yeah the Vaca took 11 shots. So the furnace takes another point. So it's currently 2-1. So the head-on collision damage should also be something uh, that uh, actually surprised me but turned out the Vaca was the well less well it had more damage than the Infernus in fact so Infernus took the point again so 3-1 at this very moment for the Infernus now to test the top speed or the fastest car amongst these two turned out the well the Infernus just completely took off compared to the Vaca I don't know what the hell happened to the Vaca we even tried a couple more times seemed like Inferno's just completely dominated the scene here with the top speed. So that takes a point yet again, making it 4-1 this time. So it seems like Inferno's has taken the lead here throughout this competition or, or this comparison, let's say. But the customization goes hands down towards the Vaca. The Inferno's doesn't have anything. I think they sort of kept it like that for the classical look for the Inferno's. But the Vaca sort of modernized version but not doing so well at this very moment. Well, the fourth gear acceleration test. We've got the Infernus here, 5.27 seconds, which is absolutely amazing. But when you compare it to the Vaca, the acceleration's pretty poor. You can see he struggled to hit the second gear there, making it eight seconds, therefore, making Infernus hitting the five point mark there. And a faster break of time for the Infernus, 1.13 seconds. And for the Vaca, 1.2. Oh, 09. So, Vaca takes a point right there. Making it 10 out of 10 for the Infernus, 8 out of 10 for the Vaca. Let me know in the comments below what, which one's your favourite. I personally prefer the Infernus for its obvious reasons. We've just seen some of the best examples of the car when you're comparing it to the Vaca. Some of you prefer the Vaca for the looks. I personally do prefer the Vaca for the looks. It looks more modernised and whatnot. But for performance, handling, and the real comfort feel, I prefer to choose the, or I'd rather choose the Infernus over the Vaca. But anyway, that is it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys leave a like if you did enjoy. Hold out in the comments below, as I said yet again, which one's your favorite and the reasons why. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Shaggy is now. Can that peace? Yeah! If you guys missed out the previous episode, make sure you check out the annotation on the screen right now. It takes you straight there. Add her against the entity. It was a pretty awesome episode. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. I'll see you guys there. Bro, check it out.